the year is 2018. Video games have zero black hairstyles. In February, the movie Black Panther, the 18th film in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, debuts to critical acclaim and commercial success, both domestic and international. The first movie with a predominantly black cast to make over a billion dollars. A billion dollars? God damn! One standout character was the antagonist, Eric Killmonger played by the charismatic Michael B. Jordan, whose life is basically this meme, it's really funny. Even though he styles his hair multiple different ways in the film, this one key look was ingrained into the brains of many a viewer and permeated through popular culture and into video games. Fast forward to today and, well, it's funny that there's enough to make a top 10 video out of it. Top 10 characters with a kill manga swoop. Number 1. Eddie Gordo from Tekken 8. He's a Brazilian capoeira fighter, and in the previous Tekken games, he looked like this, and this, and this, but in the brand new Tekken 8, he looks like this? Number 2. Jet Justice from Foam Stars. Yay, I love Foam Stars. It's my, it's my favorite game. Foam Stars. Number 3. Miles Morales and Spider-Man 2. Oh my god. Alright, look. Spider-Man 1. Miles had that. Oh no, he had that Smash Bros. player haircut. But look. He was a young-ish teenager at the time. I think many of us made questionable hair decisions around that age. He gets a pass, but then he got his own game. And you can't be running around Harlem looking like that. So he got that fresh fade, so smooth. He even looks in the mirror and is like, yeah, we got it right this time. But then in Spider-Man 2, oh no, why does he look like that? How much time passes between these games? Did he have enough time to feasibly grow all that hair? Or did he get extensions? But it gets worse. Oh no, what are you wearing? This shit is more dripless than Sandman in the Sahara Desert. Why is the top cut off? Is your spider suit not supposed to help you hide your secret identity? And he just shows up with it? No explanation in the middle of the apocalypse next to Peter's cum suit. There are so many good suits in this game, but you're locked into this trash ass suit for the entire finale, even if you switch the color to something less of an eyesore, the game just switches it back in the next cutscene. It's time for a Miles Morales original, you know? One of one. Then what was this? Where did you even get that suit from? What is going on? Where are the Avengers? And you know what's even worse? This was all done for a fucking Adidas ad. Not even Nike? Miles, I thought you learned your lesson about accepting questionable sponsorships. This game is awesome, but what the fuck was this? Anyways, number four. Hold it! I didn't think I'd end up in court again so soon. I don't think it looks that bad. The suit? Oh no, the suit is terrible. There's no redeeming that. But the hair, I think this whole situation has been a little bit exaggerated. So give me the crown of thorns. Put the put the persona on screen. It's time for in defense of the Killmonger hair on everybody. Wait, that might actually make a good title for this video. All right, these are the two images I've seen floating around every couple of months. You tweet either one of these with a the caption, um, haven't we had enough? Easy 10K likes. Now I'm not accusing anyone of grifting or engagement baiting off of these images. I just think some people may have been misled. You know, there's some, there's some important context missing here. So let's look at the first image. 10 characters with the same hair, right? Well, first of all, two of these are the same person and no one even noticed. They're both alternate costumes of Bangalore from Apex Legends, and the hair is not even her default look. In many of her alts, she has all sorts of hairstyles. In fact, half of these images are just alts. One optional costume out of a dozen options. DJ in Street Fighter 6, did they change his look after decades of street fighting? Nope, he looks like this in the game. This is Outfit 3, which I think is only DLC. Baptiste from Overwatch, that's one suit out of a dozen. And again, it ain't even his default. And look, under no circumstances do you ever have to hand it to Overwatch. But I'm not gonna say they clown around when they got all these different hairstyles and one, one is the Killmonger cut. 
Who else we got on here? Varl from Horizon Zero Dawn. Hold up, that game came out in February of 2017, a year before the Black Panther movie came out, even before the first trailer. Maybe they were inspired by the French model Harry Samba, who posted this stylish viral photo in 2016, but it's Horizon Zero Dawn. Every single character in that game has some type of braids. Phoenix from Valorant. I mean, Valorant's a first person game. You, you don't even see your character on screen. What's the big deal? Besides, what are you doing playing Valorant? Put the game down. Go do your homework. Now, some of these I cannot defend. Sargon from the new Prince of Persia game, who I assume is Persian. Huh? <laughs> This game came out this year. I ain't played it yet, but I heard it was pretty good though. There are two characters from League of Legends. Because I value my own mental health, I've never actually played League of Legends before. Echo used to look like this, and now looks like this sometimes. You can be the judge on which one looks better. There's also Cassante. He was added to the game more recently, and I think he looks pretty cool. I still ain't playing that fuck ass game though. Hopping over to the other photo, most of these we've already covered. That dude is from a Star Wars TV show. There's this dude from Avowed. This game game ain't even out yet, so I do not know what is going on here. I have nothing to offer here. Avowed, you are on your own for this one. There's this dude down here. Hold up. This is from the Dragon's Dogma 2 character creator. Are we really going to complain about one hair option out of 60 in a character creator that has other black hairstyles? You got Wham, you got Bam, you got Kablam, you got Jerry Curl. There are plenty of character creators in modern games with $100 million budgets that are still somehow worse off than the Nintendo Me Maker that has not changed since 2006. Elden Ring? More like, fuck you. So look, you gotta give props where you gotta give props. But the thing is, there are functionally an infinite number of black hairstyles to choose from. So why is the Killmonger hair specifically the one that keeps showing up? How did this all happen? Well, it's because Killmonger was completely right and game recognized game. Well, it's because a lot of people independently went, that guy looks cool. I'll, I'll be, be creating my next game and put that hairstyle on a black guy. guy. It's not like a, like a secret deep state cabal of character designers got together and were like, they want a new black hairstyle? Fine, this'll put those dark skin in Daryl's in their place. Video games take anywhere from like two to five years to make. Or in the case of Skull and Bones, 10 years to make a quadruple A pirate game where you play as the boat? What the fuck? So if many different people were independently inspired by something six years ago, say an extremely popular movie, designed the character a long time ago during the concept phase, add several years of development time, an extra year for COVID delays, and you're gonna see the fruition of all these independent ideas years later. And this may be an unpopular opinion, but I don't think you should change your ideas because someone else had a similar one around the same time. Oh, some other game has the same hairstyle as the game we've been working on for years. We gotta change ours real quick or else people on Twitter will make fun of us. No, that would not happen. Back in the day, games have always had all sorts of NPCs, but outside of fighting games where they have at least one of every person from around the globe, it was kind of rare to actually play as a a black guy. Your options were like Madden, 2K, and Def Jam Vendetta. So then a game with a character creator may have been your only chance. And so many times I've heard and still hear today, this character creator is amazing because I can make someone who looks like me. The most basic looking person imaginable. But then if I go in there and I gotta be putting trust fund hair or anime hair on a black guy, look, that ain't even close to me. But that's where the Killmonger cut comes in. In some people's eyes, it has one foot in the real type 4 hair, one foot in the realm of abstract flair. Killmonger's look in the movie was literally based on Vegeta from Dragon Ball Z, and it's reflective of how different world cultures are absorbed through popular media. It's like when weeaboos finally visit Japan and think, wait, this isn't magical anime land, this is regular place. I'm old enough to remember when in most games, there would be three or fewer options, bald, afro, and children of the corn, and that's partially due to, I assume, people's consumption of popular media. Finally, a fourth black hairstyle. The prophecy has been fulfilled. 
Oh no! Now this part is really just a guess. Hair used to be hard to convincingly animate in games, which is part of the reason why, you know, 15 years ago in the PS3 360 Wii era, every main character used to look like this. But the Killmonger hair has a lot of polygons, so I guess it's a bit of a way to flex the graphical engine. And even though I surveyed 100 people and everyone I talked to has met one or fewer people in real life with this hairstyle, this hairstyle being so prevalent shows effort? All of these devs are attempting to diversify their assets, their in-game assets. If only there was a broader open source afro hair library that designers could use for inspiration. And it does look really funny when it's all compiled like this, and I think it's normal for players to express their confusion when seeing this, but I'm gonna give developers the benefit of the doubt and say that it is well-intentioned. The medium of video games is a comparatively young art form, and in a broader sense, games have made a lot of progress in recent years in showcasing people of all different types of backgrounds, which is good. Progress is slow, uh, meaningful change is uh, slow, and will not always be linear. We all see an avatar, but this is a step, a tiny step in the right direction. So I say, uh, keep going. Anyways, that's all I got. Thank you everyone for watching my 2024 Black History Month special. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe and check out my last video that's on screen right now. Comment below with how you feel about hair in video games, and today's comment code word is WAVES. Comment WAVES if you made it all the way through the video, and uh, that's it, video's over.